I think. Yeah. <laughs> Hope so. <laughs> so how's, how's things? Your... Is it busy, busy? Yeah, yeah it's um, picking up nicely. Um, things are definitely looking up. We also getting a lot more people vaccinated, so that's exciting. Yeah. And um, we've been missing Mauritius. So how is Mauritius? <laughs> Marriage is always good, so we just thinking about now for October the opening. Yes. Yeah, so opening in October, and uh, yeah, we move forward and see how it goes. But uh, we're just waiting for the flights because the air lift is really, really down. So we don't know how many flights are going to come, and with the number of hotels opening, so how are we gonna split? like these passengers to the hotels, so. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. very interesting. So they've said to us one flight on a Friday in October, but then going on to two flights, and I suppose they'll just, from November, they'll just monitor it as we go along to see the demand mm -hmm. and everything. So let's see. We we'll have to see. wait and see what happens with the airlines, but there are, there will be other options to fly if mm -hmm. um, they don't have enough flights, there will be other airlines we can use, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully. So, um, which which air, other airlines are you think gonna gonna come um, over? I think Air Austral will hopefully be opening up sometime soon, maybe by uh -huh. reunion. Um, and then not sure what else at this stage, but I think those are two options at the moment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we wait to hear. So is it still cold in South Africa or is like uh, the weather is getting a bit warmer now? Um, it was lovely on the weekend, but uh, it's yeah. a bit fresh today, but in Joburg, but uh, Cape Town, I believe has got very chilly weather um, and some rain and everything like that. So no, it's definitely not spring yet. Not quite. Yeah, you had a really nice weekend with the rugby as well. You, you beat the British Lions, so Indeed. you won the... <laughs> Absolutely. That was no, a good one. Did you watch it? Yeah, no, it was a good match. Yeah, very good. Um, I just see the start. There's still a few people joining. So let's just wait another few minutes. Um, and then we'll go from there if you don't mind. Yeah. Because for example, uh when we sometimes when we think about maritime resort, if we do like a live tour, that's gonna take minimum one hour, one hour thirty minutes. And yeah. I'm sure some of the teams knows about how big the resort is. And to move from one point to the other, that's going to take some time. So yes. it's better for a start. We just, because even for the presentation, I don't have the, I was still updating the, uh, the presentation. So we're just thinking, uh, I'm just going through the fact sheet, in fact, uh, about the changes. It's more like about the hotels, like a, I think everyone knows about Maritime Resort and just okay, a refresher one. Well, we've got some agents that possibly don't, so I suggest mm -hmm. you it's your opportunity um, to let them know. So what I'm going to do is there are still a few people joining, but mm -hmm. um, welcome. We're very excited to have Mauritius back and we're very excited to have Mauritius opening in October. So thanks to everybody that has joined. And Tish is from Maritime, and he's going to take us through his property, give us some updates on Mauritius, and you're welcome at the end to please ask some questions, because I'm sure there must be some questions about um, everything in Mauritius, because we really haven't been there for so long. So yeah, yes. I'm going to hand over to you, and Tish, thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Angela. So uh, thank you guys for joining. Unfortunately, it's going to be like only like virtual. We would love to have you on site, seeing the lovely hotel. Uh, well, for the Maritime Hotels Mauritius, I'm going to focus now on the Maritime Resort and Spa, which is the five-star hotel. And then we have also the Maritime Crystal Beach Hotel on the East Coast, uh, that will be for another day. Uh, focus on Maritime Resort and Spa, five-star, uh, northwest coast of Mauritius, uh, situated in the Turtle Bay, uh, like a second marine park of the island. So the hotel is 25 factors uh, property. So what we're going to do is more like going for the fact sheet because the presentation yet has been updated. So because of the hotel, we, uh, we just one minute, I'm just going to share the screen now. 
share screen, share screen, share screen, share screen, which one, this one. Can everyone see the screen? Should be? Yes, we can, thanks. Okay, I will just go on full screen mode. Cool, so Maritime Resort and Spa Five Star on the Northwest Coast. Uh, we just finished the full renovation of the 25 hectares, all the different facilities. So we started in, let's say like now it's 2020, like February, 2020, and we finished like uh, last June. We had a few, I say delays, but now all fine, ready for the reopening. In fact, it's more like the COVID has really helped us in a way. So uh, full renovation already done. Uh, we have now new 60, like 60 new rooms, like in a new block, it's called the Junior Suite. And all the facilities, all the rooms, all the different areas, uh, so renovated. So we keep, we're going to keep the same style uh, as before. It's just like a refresh every, uh, everything around. Uh, we're going to start with the, like this location where we are. So 15 minutes from Grand Bay and 10 minutes from Portway. So we are in the middle of these two and one hour by, uh, so by, uh, by for the transfer to the airport. And some unique selling points. I'm going to send you the, the fact sheet afterwards. Maybe you already have it. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are the main points like uh, uh, the only hotel with equestrian center, lovely spa, 275 rooms. Uh, now, like nine more golf course, uh, six bars, uh, so seven restaurants. So There's a lot of things to do at the hotel. So it's a one-stop shop, like seven nights a day, you can do everything. So for the rooms, one minute. So rooms, so it's a basic, like a picture of like a, everything around. So you can see like the new rooms. On the top left-hand side, the junior suites. Uh, that's the new ones, and then the refresh down, like for the for the Delix uh, for the Delix Plus and Delix. So the name of the room categories has changed. So it's, uh, it's before we had the uh, standard privilege, prestige suites and junior uh, and residential suite now. Uh, for the next season, we have removed the standard rooms from the inventory uh, for the South African market uh, because uh, of the views. Many we had some negative feedback, and also we saw that the higher room category was selling the most. So we're going to start from privilege onward, but the room has changed. So equivalent privilege is from Dulux. Prestige Deluxe Plus, Junior Suite is the new room category, Suite, uh, remain the suite, and Residential Suite and Maritime Villa. So in terms of inventory now, uh, same, we have 97 Deluxe Rooms, uh, 75 Deluxe Plus, and it's the same configuration. Deluxe, deluxe Rooms, three person maximum. And in that category, we can have interconnecting rooms means the door inside the wall connecting two rooms. And uh, for the Deluxe Plus, we can have interleading room, means there's a big door outside connecting two rooms. And the uh, configuration for Deluxe Plus is two adult and one child maximum. So what we can do. And then, so we move to the junior suite. The junior suite are the, is the new category. It's more like a new block of uh, 60 rooms. It's, was, it's close to the spa area and they have their own pool, like it's a common pool for them. So at the hotel, we're gonna have now like two big pool. So the junior suite, it's uh, has a garden, it's more like garden view. Garden view and all these rooms, uh, they can be like interconnected. So, and also very good for family because they can have two plus two easily, two adults and two kids. 
So the configuration, one king size bed and one sofa bed. This one is done. And I will, I will come after when to, to it's like, uh, I will send you also like pictures of all the different, uh, let's say activities, facilities, rooms, because we have yet to finish with the photo shooting. So, and then we have the 23 suites and then the rest like residential suite and maritime villa. The room, cut, the room uh, in room facilities, what we have the different for the, for the normal one and for the suites. Eight spa suites is in the new block. The restaurant, so the hotel, we have now seven restaurants. Seven restaurants, all of them has been fully uh, renovated. Bellevue restaurant we still remain the main one uh, open for breakfast, lunch, dinner, buffet style. And then you have the other ones a la carte, uh, just like a La Mare Beach restaurant, uh, Filao, uh, Anno restaurant, which is a new one. And then we have the, the fine dining restaurant, Chateau Mont Désir, the Bagnon, which is Asian fusion. So we have on the 25 hectares, different spots, different views, different themes, uh, different squeezings as well. So a wonderful area to be. So seven nights there you can uh, benefit from the, all the different restaurants. So quick show around of like the different restaurants we have, Bellevue main one. And you know that we have uh, changed the, we have more like updated the dress code for the different restaurants. It's more like smart casual now, uh, because before it was more like chic, elegant, but now smart casual, everyone on holidays will love that. And especially the South Africans, uh, we had a few feedbacks in the past. So now they, we took that into consideration more, flexible and smart casual for especially for dinner time. So Bellevue, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, buffet style. And then we have Filao Beach barbecue, which the concept is more like, uh, so for dinner time, the starter buffet, starter and dessert on the buffet and main course is a la carte from a selection. And then La Marie Beach restaurant, uh, a la carte, uh, still the same a la carte. Uh, it's an Asian fusion style, and we even have a Tepanyaki corner. Black Askel is a traditional Mauritian style cuisine. It's like a shared, uh, how do you say, shared table. So you give the local touch, local cuisine, and it's like a, a four course meal. And Chateau Mont Désir, the fine dining. And we have Anu, which is new. It's like the Brasserie style restaurant. And to note that for the all-inclusive, we have changed a little bit. So for the all-inclusive uh, inclusions, we have the beverages applicable in most of the restaurant. And for the dinner time, uh, the main restaurant, uh, Bellevue, is still the one every day you can dine there. But for the other a la carte restaurant, Filao, La Mare, Pagna, and La Casse Creole, uh, this is like once a week. So once per day, let's say for a seven nights day, you can, we give you the chance to, to enjoy uh, in the different a la carte restaurant. And also you will see that each uh, room category, you will see like there will be like uh, some, how we say culinary uh, benefits. For example, if you go to uh, to book the room at Deluxe Plus, you will have breakfast in the main restaurant, or you can choose at Anu as well. And um, if you book the junior suites, uh, for example, you can have breakfast either at Bellevue, Anu, or even La Marie Beach restaurant. So we have all these uh, facilities, and those who book the suites residential suite and maritime villa. They have the butler service, uh, access to Sweet Beach, 
and uh, other input as well. Next, the pause. That's very important for the South African market. So, uh, now we have six bars, including the, we put five iconic bars, but we have six bars when we uh, count the uh, pool, pool bars. So quarter deck, still like the main bar overlooking the ocean. Very nice, peaceful there. And uh, open till one in the morning. So all inclusive selections are available from nine till one in the morning. And then we have the other bars like the, the Ness, uh, which is part of the new restaurant Anneau, uh, La Marais, uh, the beach bar, the distillery, which is part as well uh, of the Anneau. So, and the River Pool, Riverview Pool Bar is in the new block of rooms. I know it's quite difficult for you guys to, to uh, assimilate all the information, uh, but unfortunately for the moment, we don't have the pictures, official pictures yet. And the sports and leisure, these as well have been upgraded. So all the gym, uh, we have the new equipment for the techno gym. The equestrian center is still there with like a lovely horses. Uh, the tennis courts as well. Uh, instead of the green field, we have now it's become blue, a bit strange. So, and uh, other facilities for the kids, especially. Water sports, uh, to note that uh, part of the water sport, we, water ski is now a payable activity, activities. Why? Because uh, we need to pay tax, so we, we're charging for, for the water ski. Just more like this, this, uh, this amount, if ever uh, we get, is going to be used for, to protect the uh, the Turtle Bay Marine Park, any amount we're going to use for that. So the water ski is, include, uh, is not included anymore with a small supplement. But for the other land sports, we even have now like a new outdoor gym. Uh, so and you have a nice selection. Equestrian Center. And also like facility of the kids club. For the kids club as well has been renovated. We have now like a, a it's, it's a bit bigger shade and we have its own pool. I'm going to, uh, we, just the problem is the pictures. We don't have the pictures yet. The Maritime Golf Club. So we have like a different uh, packages for the golf, the green fees included for the in-house guests. And while for the diving center, we have one initiation to diving included in the package. Ruins of Balaclava, so 25 hectares of land, and that includes the ruins of Balaclava. So we have different activities there. Included the, just on the bottom, we have the, the new kids area, kids park. Ladies love this area. So Maritime Tropical Flower Spa. So it's huge, 20, uh, it's 3,500 square meters and uh, all refresh all the different cabins or different, uh, the bridal suites and we have upgraded the treatment list as well. So new treatments uh, now available. This is a nice selection of what's what's in at the spa. We even do uh, Ayurveda treatments. We have the bridal suite, any weddings, and so we can do there. So individual uh, single and double cabins, changing rooms, relaxation areas. And to note that access to the spa is now applicable only for those who booked a treatment or a massage. So we have updated this on the fact sheet and for the new season. 
because we have seen in the past that there have been a lot of the spa has been really overcrowded and especially now with addition of 60 new rooms it might be a bit, a bit difficult for those to actually put this uh, for a massage and also at the spa you can you can privatize it you can do like a, a spa party spa party for 10 to 15 person uh, you can if you have groups coming you have other incentives you can privatize this area for a small cocktail so different uh how you say combination different uh, activities you can do there and then weddings events so one-stop shop again 25 hectares from the beach to the conference room to the chateau mont uh to the different area ruins of balaclava you can accommodate from from small groups to let's say five thousand people we had a, like a concert and a DJ party uh, even the other day with 5,000 people uh, coming over in the ruins of Balaclava. So this one's for the different configurations of the different venues and some other additional services we provide. So that's basically it for the maritime resort. That was a quick one. Uh, maybe next time we're going to have another refresher with all the pictures. What I'm going to do now is going to I have the image bank uh, I can send you. So I can show you like the different facilities. One minute. So that's the, for example, this is the Bellevue restaurant changed completely the new style it's now uh how we say closed area and uh, air condition so we keep the the food fresh underneath so we even have some live cooking yes but still like uh it's now with the closed doors and air condition the main restaurant what else we have new i can show you we, we can't see anything and tish we're still on your presentation oh, you're still on the presentation yeah one minute new share one minute new share new share new share dropbox okay okay now you can see it's yes, we good can. yeah so this is the bellevue restaurant uh now change completely for the Buffet area, it's, it's closed, more like uh, air conditioned now. Air conditioned. And uh, so, even have some live cookings we, can, uh, we do inside. And then outside is more like the seating area. Example. So, seating area. We can accommodate easily 180 covers and then what's what's new so all this chateau more desire still remain the same the fine dining increasing inside the restaurant is the same So this is the new the new category, the junior suite. One, it's loading, it's loading. So junior suite, sixty new rooms and garden view. So this is the example. It's very new, fresh, and still we keep the tropical look. Unlike other hotels, which has gone under renovation, uh, they almost look the same. So we we at the Maritime, we keep the still the, like the tropical flowery. Uh, look for the different room. Um, and Tish, there was a there was a question. So it yeah. says, um, so are the suites not sea facing at all? These junior suites, they are more garden view. The situation, the location where it is, is garden view. Uh, we we cannot say sea facing. It's more like garden view. It's okay. because it's more like towards the riverside. Uh, 
and it's more like Ravenala view. Facing the Ravenala Hotel. Okay, so they're not sea facing then. Okay. No sea facing. We have a few rooms which, uh, like the spa rooms, the spa suites which are sea facing, but uh, it's better to uh, to place it as garden view. Okay. Does anybody have any other questions? Questions for Antish? It's totally refurbed. So when we get there in October, when the passengers start coming in October, it's all refurbed. All the everything's completed. And we already open because we have the locals uh, checking it during, especially during the weekend. So we already open, and but for international guests, going to be as from first of. October. And this is the Anu, the new restaurant, the, the Brasserie style, new one. Perfect. So we're going, I'm going to send you like uh, the link for the, uh, the, for the uh, fact sheet and also for the image bank. But we're okay. going to have more pictures coming soon because we have just finished with under the photo shooting and it's going to come soon. And for example, a this one is for the Deluxe Plus, which was the old, like the previous Prestige. Looks almost similar, but a bit changing decor. And that's the Deluxe Room. It's quite heavy. Okay. Okay. Keeping keeping the keeping the traditional colonial style. Right. So, so all our rates are out, and we're going to have special offers coming soon. So we just find it should be next week, and I think that we're gonna do offers. It's more like travel as from as from December. I'm sure it's going to be better like that. Travel as from December for special offers. Um, there will be more flights, hopefully, by hopefully, December. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Oh, Tish. Any, any questions? Any... Anybody got anything? No, everyone's Mr. quiet. Leon. Any questions, Mr. Leon? <laughs> no, no one's talking no, to that. None, none from me. Thanks, Antish. I hope you keep your mom, my friend. Okay, cool. So hope, uh, hopefully, I uh, think with the MTPA, they might organize like, a, I don't know, maybe like a, a small farm trip soon. I don't know. It should be. Let's see. Let's see. We'll see what happens when it's open. I suppose we all wait for anticipation and then see what goes from there. Um, yeah. yeah so. There's obviously a lot of people that also need to rebook. So I suppose it's going to see how many people they'll take per flight. So it should be interesting times ahead, but we're excited that it's opening. Yeah. So thanks and everyone also, for joining. Yeah, sorry, Antish. It's more, it's more like we are now more flexible in terms of the cancellation policy now. So we Good. have reviewed the cancellation policy uh, due to the current travel situation. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Okay, sorry, well, Angela. Yes, Johnson. Can I just ask, Tell me, are we sure, uh, are we certain of uh, Air Mauritius flying? What's the story? What's the latest, Antish? Air Mauritius flying? Uh, yes, it's flying. It's, it's once a week, uh, Johannesburg, but uh, we still need more confirmation for for the new flights uh, to South Africa. But I think it's going to be only Johannesburg because everywhere around the world, even other destinations, uh, it's still unsure because we uh, Emirates has sold four airplanes, so uh, they are limited in terms of planes now, and uh, they need to choose wisely the destination. But South Africa is is a, is, a, is a key destination for us, especially for regional market. Um, as far as we we do have the airfares, we have packaged up, so we've got till March next year. Mm -hmm. So for October, it's once a week, and then from November, it's picking up to twice, and I suppose they'll see from there. But we can definitely book it so long, yes. Thank you. 
good. Thank you, everyone, for good. joining. And I'll see everybody Thank on you, Thursday. Guys. Thank you. Any questions, Samara?